All right, here with head coach Carolyn King calling the Hawks 5 0 victory today over Southern New Hampshire. Now, talk about how big this is, obviously, coming off a little bit of a, a skid to turn it around here. Um, you know, maybe even start it a little slowly, but really kind of turn it around within the game, too. You know, just talk about how big this is. Yeah, it's huge. It's, we haven't been scoring as much as we would have liked. You know, you need to score more than one goal a game to beat anyone in our conference. So, um, it was nice to get on the board in the first half and add some more. Uh, really important that we got everyone sort of in the game, some valuable minutes for people, you know, that we're going to need down the stretch. So I think it went really well. We executed. I still think we can execute better. Uh, I think we had something crazy like 24 corners. So we'll keep working on it, but definitely need to get in the W column so we can start looking forward towards Merrimack. Uh, Rochelle Davis, her second goal in as many games, you know, with, with the scoring struggles as of late that you just documented, you know, big to have her as another option, you know, score goals. Definitely. Rochelle is one of the hardest workers on our team. Um, she always comes to work and she just plays really, really hard. Um, so, you know, we put her in there and I know she's just going to, she'll take, tackle the goalie if she has to, to get the ball in the net. And sort of that's what she's done. She scored on two scrambles, um, got us started. So she's coming, you know, getting hot at the right time and we'll continue to, to use her to try to help us keep scoring. Uh, the freshmen, no secret that they've, you know, obviously been a big part of your offense this year. And, and uh, Leah Conley, obviously no secret there, but good to see Jackie Clement get, you know, get going. Obviously goal coming in, but uh, two goals and assists for her today. Yeah, we talked all week about getting our middies more involved, so not necessarily freshmen, sophomore, whatever, but our midfielders needed to distribute the ball on offense better and get shots on offense. Um, couldn't just be the forward scoring inside our 25, so great that she got an assist, finished some goals, so um, scored on a corner. So all of those things are really good, and it's nice to see the freshmen play well under pressure. And lastly, uh, you know, obviously a little bit more stuff for getting a win on, you know, corners for the cure day. Uh, 24 corners. Some of your Sorry. Uh, sponsors <laughs> might need to take out a loan because of you, but you know, talk about talk about how special this is in its fourth year. Yeah, it's a, when I got here, they'd already started it. Um, you know, in honor of a couple of our players' grandmothers. Uh, it's a special thing. It's close to me. My mother battled breast cancer. She's a survivor. Two years now. So I just think it's great. I think it's really important for them to realize that this is a game. Um, we play it for fun and because we love it, but there's people who have real struggles um, and the things we can do to help in a meaningful way. So 24 corners is a lot. We're probably going to have to cap it for some people, um, but just happy that they're, you know, thinking of people other than themselves and, and making this great event happen again. I saw Nicole Foley on there, so one year out of college, I can't imagine that she has that much cash to pony up, but we'll see. Thanks, uh, Coach. You're welcome. All right, here with freshman Aliyah Conley, uh, two goals for you today in the 5 nothing victory. Talk about how big this win is for you guys to kind of get off the, the losing schneid a little bit here today. Uh, coming off a three-game loss is definitely devastating, but especially in this game with this new program, we want to take advantage of it, definitely step up our game, show them how good we are, and just start off the new kick of our season with a big win. Uh, you and Jackie obviously both um, very successful today. Um, another goal for Michelle Davis, their second as many days. What, mm -hmm. you know, what kind of allowed you guys to be successful today? Um, we just fed off each other's energy, especially in locker room today, really got each other pumped up. And um, especially during practices, what we focused on more was scoring. We need to take the shots, we need to take the rebounds and get in the net. I mean, we threw our bodies into it, we got physical, and so we did what we had to do, and 5 nothing is a great win. For you, nine goals now in the season by far leads the team. You know, what's kind of allowed you to be, you know, have so much success in your first year here, you know, playing collegiate field hockey? Uh, I, before every game, I try to visualize what I want to do, how I'm going to attempt to score goals, and I just really get my body in there, you know, get physical and just try to get the ball in the net. And, I mean, I was played here to get goals, and that's what I'm doing. <laughs> All right, here with freshman Nick, Jackie. Two goals and assists today. Uh, talk about how big this win is. Obviously, a little bit of a slide for you guys. Um, needed a win today to turn it around, and you got it. Yeah, um, we're really trying to get off that losing streak we had. So this was really a good pickup for us to um, get things back rolling again. Talk about you. A goal uh, for the season coming in, and obviously, like I said, two goals and assists today. What you know? What kind of? What allowed you to be successful? Um, we had a lot of good ball movement and just really getting low and being ready for the rebound on pads. And then your first year dealing with Corners for the Cure. Talk about you know this event today and um, how special this has been. It was a great event. A lot of people came out. We got a lot of sponsors, and it's just great to help raise awareness for the cause.
looking forward uh, to your next contest in the rest of the year? You know, what do you guys kind of have to do to keep this momentum that you have now today going? Um, we just kind of have to keep remembering how it feels to win, and no matter who we're playing, it's always a big win, and it's always great feeling at the end of the game to run and go get your goalie and sit down with coach after and talk about the next game.